argan oil can cost as much as $300 per litre, making it the world's most expensive edible oil. Just 20 years ago, however, the production of argan oil was isolated to local villages in Morocco, with international sales virtually non-existent. But since then, the formation of women-run cooperatives has transformed the production into a billion-dollar industry. So why has argan oil suddenly gained such popularity? And what makes it so expensive? Argan oil is predominantly used in high-end cosmetic products and Moroccan cuisine. The oil comes from the seed of the argan tree, native only to the narrow strip of semi-desert between Morocco's Atlantic coast and the Atlas Mountains. The Amazigh people of North Africa have been using the argan seeds for centuries, and the methods for creating this costly oil haven't changed in years. Once collected, the argan fruits are sun-dried before being peeled and depulped by hand to remove the fleshy outer layers. The leftover argan nut then needs to be cracked to retrieve the oil-rich kernel inside. The next stage is grinding, which is often also done by hand. The leftover pulp removed from the fruit is sold as animal feed, particularly for goats, who are intrinsically linked to the argan tree. In some areas, it's tradition to allow goats to climb the trees to freely feed on the fruits. Argan kernels are then collected from their excrement, saving the laborious work of cracking open the nuts manually. But nowadays, in most argan forestries, this peculiar site is merely used as a tourist attraction. <laughs> Traditionally, Amazigh women, who until 1956 required the man's permission to leave their homes, made argan oil primarily for culinary purposes, using methods passed down through generations. This artisanal oil was occasionally sold on the roadside in recycled bottles for as little as $3 per litre. Et donc, on s'est aperçu en fait que les femmes qui préparaient cette huile d'une façon artisanale, elles avaient une peau, une peau vraiment très douce et euh, pas de rides du tout. Mais on n'avait aucune preuve scientifique. Zubida Sharouf first studied the argan tree for her PhD in the late 1980s, when the species was in dangerous decline. After conducting scientific research to support the moisturizing benefits of argan oil on hair and skin, Sharouf planned to transform the environmental problem into an economic solution. L'objectif n'était pas de garder ces résultats sur les tiroirs à l'université, mais sortir sur le terrain, organiser la filière, 
organiser la filière, ces femmes qui, qui n'étaient pas organisées du tout, qui produisaient de l'huile d'argane de façon traditionnelle chez elles. Et donc, euh, c'était très difficile, c'était quelque chose de nouveau. Elles ne savaient pas ce que c'est qu'une coopérative. Euh, ensuite, ils ne sont jamais sortis de chez elles. Et donc, quand même, on a commencé par ces 16 femmes. Et dès que elles, les autres ont vu ce que ça a donné pour cette première coopérative, donc il y a eu beaucoup, beaucoup de, de femmes qui, qui sont venues nous voir, qui voulaient aussi s'organiser en coopérative et profiter de euh, la, 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 la commercialisation de l'huile d'Argan. Sure enough, the rapid rise in popularity of Argan oil not only brought profit to the region, but also revitalized an entire ecosystem. The newfound respect for the value of argan trees ensured stability for the species and in turn, the surrounding wildlife and community reaped the benefits. The argan tree, known locally as the tree of life, provides food, shelter and protection from desertification and its deep roots prevent soil erosion, allowing vegetated grass to grow for grazing livestock. It's estimated that up to 90% of the economy in this region is owed to the argan tree. Il y a pratiquement 3 millions de personnes de subsi qui subsistent de l'arganerie parce qu'il fournit beaucoup de journées de travail pour les populations locales. Rien que la, la seule extraction de l'huile, elle fournit pratiquement un million de, de journées de travail. Mais le, le rôle le plus important, c'est le rôle environnemental. L'arganier est vraiment le dernier rideau vert au niveau du désert. In just one generation, the international market for argan oil has risen from just 200 litres to 4,000 metric tonnes in 2019. By 2025, the state's ambition is to sell over 10,000 metric tonnes. To facilitate this increase, the area for producing the oil has expanded more than 100 miles south of Aswara and is due to expand north. As with any costly ingredient, argan oil products are often adulterated. Both cosmetic and culinary argan oil is often labeled as pure, despite the undisclosed percentage of Argania kernel oil being mixed with a host of chemical compounds. And cheaper, mechanically extracted oil has begun to appear on the market for as little as $22 a litre, threatening the stability of the local cooperatives. However, some cosmetic giants such as L'Oreal have committed to fair trade programs to help ensure the stability of their argan oil and the preservation of the forest's biodiversity. With the help of the cooperatives, the traditional skills held by the Amazia women have created a booming industry. But even though this income has granted some financial independence in a male-dominated society, the women normally make less than $220 a month, below Morocco's recommended national minimum wage. With the argan oil industry predicted to continue its growth, the prosperity of the Amazia women remains to be seen.